get response versus constant contact now this video is going to be a quick comparison i'm going to show you basically everything that you need to know about these email marketing tools including any differences any similarities the pricing and overall which one is better suited for your business so if you are thinking about picking up one of these email marketing softwares then keep watching as this video will provide enough information for you to make a good decision if we jump right into these the first thing that i will mention is what these actually are is pretty similar so there are drag and drop email marketing tools that make it very easy to create your emails and then automate your sequence as you can see this is what the software looks like so you would choose a template and then if i can fi try and find a picture of the drag and drop tool you can see you would choose a template and then you would basically drag and drop what you want in uh, delete certain things and basically fit it more to your business now that is constant contact get response is pretty similar in that you choose a template and then you can design your email using the drag and drop tool and you can automate your emails using the email marketing sequence so they are pretty similar tools however would i say that one is better than the other what would i say that one feels better and right here i would say yes i would say that overall and this maybe personal opinion but i personally prefer get response it just feels nicer the user interface is very very simple uh, that is a plus for me and it's just easy to use now that isn't to say constant contact is bad in terms of the user service it certainly isn't it's still a very very good tool however i would just say i prefer get response a little bit more now the second thing that i will mention is that both of these actually offer sms marketing so if we take a look into the sms feature what this is, is this basically allows you to send out text messages. So as well as having email marketing, you also get SMS marketing if you choose the add-on with either of these tools. However, they're slightly different here. So this is pretty funny. Get response SMS is only available in Europe and constant contact SMS is only available in the US. That may change your decision on which one you wanted to go with if you do want to implement SMS. I should also mention, and I will show you later in the video, SMS is expensive. I think because it's like relatively new and it is just coming out right now, the demand is very high and it is expensive. So that is what I will say that I have noticed about both of these tools. They both offer SMS, they are pretty similar, and get response is slightly better and it just feels more premium. Now, let's take a look at the pricing. So if we go to the pricing area of both of these, so we can see if we flick this over to US dollars, and you can get a free trial with both of these softwares. Now, before you go and sign up for your free trial, guys, with Constant Contact, be careful because there is something I need to show you at the end of the video, and it's very, very important. So both of these offer free trials. With Constant Contact, you can see right here, you don't have to provide your credit card for the free trial, and it is a 60-day free trial. So that is pretty nice right there. Now, with get response, if we go over here, you can see the free trial. They also have one. However, it is much more limited. Unlimited, you can send unlimited emails. However, you can only have 500 contacts on your list. And this is only for 30 days. So with the free trial, I will say constant contact is winning here. So if we actually look at the pricing um, and we go here, let's say you have 5,000 contacts on your list. And with constant contact, if you have 5,000 subscribers, so here, 5,000 subscribers on constant contact is $55 per month. On get response, 54. So pretty evenly priced. Now, if we move this up, $10,079, constant contact, $80. So you can see that they actually stay pretty similar. Uh, let's just see if it does eventually change. So 25,000 subscribers is 155 on constant contact or 174 on get response so if we actually go up and we get to these big email lists like 25,000 contacts plus then get response gets slightly more expensive it's not crazy uh, it's just a, a few dollars more each month but that is what i will say so get response for some plans is slightly more expensive by a few dollars but basically they are around about the same price so that is all i was going to say i was just going to leave it here and say yeah go ahead um you can basically choose either one however then i took a look at the reviews and this you guys need to see this so i will just show you um get response seems okay get response get response uh, 4.2 stars 
it's, it's okay, that's what people are saying, it's a pretty good software. And if we take a look at the cons, you can see that they are not too big of a problem. Like, all emails go to the promotion section. Uh, I've personally used it, and I don't agree, and this doesn't happen. But you can basically see that they aren't really too serious. With constant contact, I, once again, went on here and read through, and these two reviews caught my eye. I called the following Monday to cancel my service, and they refused to refund my subscription cost even though no service had been provided. And then it also says it's very difficult to cancel an account, you cannot delete your data online, and they will argue with you to cancel. No refunds are given if you are unhappy with the product. So I thought, okay, that seems a little bit strange. Let's check out the reviews. And man, so many people are saying this. Did they just get charged, and then they like cancel the account, or... They, they have to ring up and they wait for so long to try and cancel the account and they argue with them and say, no, you can't cancel. And It's just so hard to cancel an account. Constant contact, it really doesn't seem good. Like, can't cancel account. Disappointed, tried cancelling our plan. We had to phone the office multiple times. It seems they bill your account ahead of the due date. Constant contact, I would not go with it just because of this. Now, with get response, there is uh, one of the things in the reviews that I do want to point out. So if we go to get response and we look at the one star reviews as well, basically what's happening here is get response will not give you a refund. So this isn't as bad, I will say that definitely, because with constant contact, they don't give you a refund and they make it really, really hard to cancel your account. However, on get response, if you like forget that you have an account open, like you leave the free trial on for too long or you just leave your account open for an extra month and they charge you, they will charge you like to be expected, but they just won't give you a refund. However, if you want to cancel your get response account, it is so easy. They will just let you do it instantly. That is what I will say. Constant contact, I would not recommend because you might get trapped in a plan if you want to like cancel and you'll have to spend ages ringing the office and it's just a whole ordeal that you do not want to go through. So for the fact that it is a better software, and you don't have to go through all of this horrible stuff to cancel your account. For me, I would highly recommend GetResponse. So, that is what I will say. Now, that is GetResponse versus Constant Contact. If you learned something from this video, or if you found it valuable in some way, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.